。虽然圣诞节已经过去，还是有许多人舍不得把圣诞树或是圣诞装饰给撤下来，想要继续感受佳节的愉快气氛。但是电力供应单位呼吁民众，在元旦过后的一个星期内就要把这些装饰拆除。其实呢，不是因为不合时宜，而是因为安全的考量。十二月总是让人舍不得过完，装饰点缀圣诞树，让佳节特别有气氛。因此，过完新年还是有许多人不想把装饰收起来。The decorations are never meant to be permanent。不是因为装饰不再美丽或是不合时宜，而是拿出来使用的时间一长，就很容易造成危险。The Christmas tree lights can get frayed, and that happens in several ways, just from bending or twisting the lights can lead to some fraying. It'll expose the wire, so this can be a very dangerous thing. 专家说，过完元旦后，火灾意外事件的发生频率反而比在圣诞节到元旦期间要来得更高。像是圣诞树就是火源之一。Christmas trees tend to die out. People pay a lot of attention to the tree before Christmas. Uh, but after Christmas, it sort of gets ignored and it gets left there. Sometimes it's not watered. It's very important that as soon as that tree starts to dry out, it gets taken down and taken outside. Uh, they can literally combust. That means as soon as they reach a certain temperature, the entire tree can go on fire at once. 因此，在元旦过后的周末，把圣诞树妥善处理，将灯饰安全收藏才是上策。We recommend that you take a piece of cardboard or plastic and wrap the lights around that so that they won't get tangled up. It'll be easier to use next year, and it also gives you a chance to see the the decorations are in good shape as you're putting them away. 而坏掉的灯饰，专家说必须要用剪刀将线剪断再拿去丢，免得其他人识货继续危险使用。You know, it starts the new year fresh to remove those decorations and and start out the year right. 洛城十八台张毅瑞、王伟林在柔四密的采访报道。